Want to stay up to date on upcoming technological innovations? Welcome to Elon Musk's Twitter feed. Every idea is born here as a consequence of trying to solve a problem that bothers him. The creation of the Boring Company in December 2016 was no exception, and was the spawn of a tweet in which Musk laments car traffic in Los Angeles. The very next day on his Twitter page, there was news about the creation of a new company, which should implement the idea of three-dimensional movement in space instead of the usual two-dimensional and engage in drilling tunnels in a big way. At the moment, despite the serious scale, the work on the company takes Musk, according to him, no more than 3% of his working time and is a kind of hobby. Like all of Elon Musk's company, The Boring Company is aimed at finding new solutions which are connected with simplifying and accelerating technological processes, as well as with reducing their cost. The company was originally founded as a subsidiary of the well-known SpaceX, but already in 2018 it became separate and independent, with about 10% of the shares being given to the first employees and 90% to Musk himself. The company did not take long, and in February 2017, its first fruits of its team's labors appeared. In the parking lot of the SpaceX headquarters, test drilling of a 15-meter wide hole began. Musk said that the company plans to deal with multi-level tunnel systems for its movement of high-speed trains, including Hyperloop and electric cars. We think it is no secret what kind. A nanny boring rig has been specially purchased for tunneling but this is only to start work and study drilling techniques. The engineers of the Boring Company pledged to create their own boring machine 10 times more productive. This was followed by promising projects to develop the tunnel network in Los Angeles, Chicago, Las Vegas, the latter of which was the most commercially successful product for the company's work. We'll talk more about that later. Almost every month, news about the expansion of the tunnel network and new orders appear in the network. The approach to financing the company deserves special attention. We can say that Elon Musk decided to monetize his own popularity and the popularity of his companies and projects by investing them in a new company. An ingeniously simple idea was devised that avoided the onerous search for investors. In 2018, the company released merch, specifically 500,000 caps, for the duration of which Musk even changed his Twitter profile description to cap seller. What's more, the boring company sold 20,000 flamethrowers well, how to say almost flamethrowers. Officially, the product was sold as a blowtorch in the shape of a gun to avoid problems with customs. Despite Musk's claims that it was the safest flamethrower in the world, its sale was never authorized in the state of Maryland. But that didn't stop the company from making as much as $10 million on their sale alone. In addition to a flamethrower, you could buy a fire extinguisher, and it was the most common fire extinguisher. Imagine, even without artificial intelligence, but with a sticker, The Boring Company. There was even an idea to sell their own candy, but luckily it ended up in the production of bricks from drilling materials, and the indefatigable Elon was finally able to focus on something more technologically advanced. Let's explore what's innovative about the idea of underground tunnels and transport. And yet, what is worth doing, digging or not digging? Elon Musk himself believes that the root of all evil lies in the inherently illogical design of transport system of our cities. We all live in multi-story buildings, but we go to work on single-level roads, which should accommodate, to some extent, all the residents of these multi-level houses. And the further we go, the problem only gets worse because more and more people live in cities and the infrastructure simply cannot keep up with this pace. By 2020, over 56% of the world's population lives in cities compared to only 5% in 1900 and automobiles were far from being mass produced. As a result of this disproportion, almost every city with a million people has a problem with automobile traffic. So we need to make our transportation multi-level and it's in the bag. Two options are immediately possible here, flying transport or underground communication. The first option immediately faces a lot of obstacles in the form of security. And indeed, it is quite difficult to imagine how ordinary passers-by can be protected from a flying car in urban conditions and how this issue can be regulated by law. Remember the flying car from Harry Potter and its sad fate? It leads to imminent disaster. The use of tunnels, in turn, offers more interesting solutions. Firstly, you can build as many tunnels as you want, and they do not affect mere mortals walking on the surface. The tunnels are protected from natural disasters and the effects of weather changes, and even communications will not be affected because the tunnels will be located well below any of them. But why, with all the obvious advantages of the underground transport system, it is still not widespread? 
The reason is that tunnel boring under the ground is a hell of a lot more expensive and very slow. The fastest unit can dig a tunnel at a speed of 0 0.0005 kilometers per hour. For comparison, the snail crawls at a speed of 0.5 kilometers an hour. And we should not forget that a lot of the time is spent on the removal of the products of drilling, laying the rails and landscaping of the tunnel itself. As a result of an hour of work, only 10 minutes directly takes drilling. And the result of one mile of the tunnel reaches $1 billion. But the team of Elon Musk strongly disagreed with the fact that a hole in the ground costs a fortune and set a goal to speed up the drilling processes by at least three times and reduce the cost of drilling itself as much as possible. At first, the Godot and Linestorm boring rigs were developed, but they did not meet the company's ambitions. They were too slow. The crowning point of all developments at the moment is the Pufruck Tunnel boring rig, which is capable of drilling a tunnel at a speed of 11 kilometers per week in the long term. By comparison, traditional tunnel boring rigs can overcome a distance of 11 kilometers in at least a year. The company's cost reduction is due to the use of electronic transport during drilling, which eliminates the need for complex ventilation systems. Plus, the company aims to use its own materials for the tunnel, which also reduces the final cost of the tunnel. As we mentioned earlier, the boring company plans to produce durable and inexpensive bricks from the products of drilling for about 10 cents a piece which will give the company an additional source of income. Moreover, the company plans to provide the bricks for free to build affordable housing, which will definitely have a positive impact on their image. In addition to building their own tunnels, the company provides drilling services separately, which means you can order a tunnel that is 400 meters long and do whatever you want with it. According to the company's statements, transportation in the transport tunnel system is to be carried out using special capsules or cars or Tesla Model S, X, and three electric cars on autopilot. Thanks to the concrete lining of the tunnels and the absence of the usual live subway rails, the system assumes a high level of safety for passengers. It is also supposed to develop surface and underground stations, the construction of which will be cheaper. In fact, they will be two parking spaces, so they can be built in unlimited quantity and thus disperse dense passenger traffic. The company aims to bring the cost per trip down to $1, while the trip in the New York subway costs $2.75. However, the boring company's rosy prospects were destined to run into a number of problems. According to Insider, in April 2021, the company removed any mention of construction in Los Angeles and Washington from its website. The removal of any mention of these tunnels could indicate that the plans were in question. Dina Belzer, president of Berkeley University's strategic economics consulting firm, shared that the projects could be halted permanently failing to address environmental requirements. Let's take a closer look at a few of the projects. In 2017, the Boring Company announced its plans to connect Washington to Baltimore with an underground tunnel. For this purpose, the company bought a piece of land in Washington, D.C. to begin drilling and construction, but it ended up facing a 411-page environmental opinion that put the entire project on hold. According to Bloomberg, the company needs to be tested for potential detrimental environmental impacts and get confirmation from the Federal Highway Administration that the tunnels will not be harmful to the environment in order to proceed with construction unhindered. For his part, in 2018, Elon Musk announced the company's intentions to build an underground tunnel to Los Angeles Dodger Stadium, although a potential site for the tunnel or station entrance has not even been identified as of yet. City officials said back in the summer of 2020 that the project is being thoroughly inspected by an outside firm for environmental impact. And these are just two of the most striking examples of the mass of frozen projects of the Boring Company. In addition, in Chicago, after losing the mayor's support, all plans for a new underground transportation system went down the drain. Even the most viable plans in Los Angeles, where it all began, as well as in Maryland and Columbia, have been significantly scaled back from the original plans. The company has not yet commented officially on the removal of the information from the site. However, Elon Musk is not discouraged and is actively engaged in the construction of tunnels where circumstances allow. In April 2021, the company was able to delight its fans with a video from Las Vegas showing the Tesla
Tesla moving through tunnels with rainbow lights. The Boring Company received initial approval from Las Vegas officials for its expansion plans back in December of last year. The Boring Company is still working on opening its first underground tunnel where the convention center, which is owned by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority to the public. It was originally scheduled to open in January 2021 in time for the annual Consumer Electronics Show, but the pandemic has prevented those plans from coming to fruition, as well as many others. LVCVA President and CEO Steve Hill said in a recent interview that the opening could probably happen closer to the summer, during one of the trade shows or a major show. The Boring Company plans to carry up to 4,000 passengers per hour through its Las Vegas tunnels, using a Tesla Model 3, a Model X, and a kind of wagon built on a Model 3 platform that can hold 12 to 16 people. Although the goal is for these cars to eventually operate autonomously, they will have drivers from the beginning. Initially, drivers will follow the tunnel thanks to sensors before the cars move on their own. The LVCVA announced the project with Boring Company back in 2019 and paid Musk $48.6 million to build the tunnels under the convention center. But the Boring Company is not stopping there, and management has already expressed interest in building tunnels in several other major cities, including Miami and Fort Lauderdale. In February, Musk proposed building a Hyperloop in Miami at the cost of about $30 million. In any case, even if not unhindered, the Boring Company is actively developing and who knows will probably revolutionize the development of transportation.